record on this computer and also let me share you my screen. Let me know if you can see my screen. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So our topic is uh, magnetic compass and gyro compass. It is also on your on your canvas, okay? And the uh, magnetic compass in navigation, it's an instrument for determining direction on the surface of the earth by means of a magnetic pointer that aligns itself with earth's magnetic field, okay? It is given that the earth has a magnetic field. The compass is the oldest and most familiar type of compass is, and is used in different forms in aircrafts, ships, land vehicles, and by surveyors. And gentlemen, may I add on this, it is also being used with uh, land navigation. No? If you are going to do mountaineering, and you can use the portable magnetic compass. So historically, you can just read on this uh, 12th century mariners in China and Europe, etc. Okay. The reason magnetic compass work as they do is that Earth itself acts as an enormous bar magnet with a north-south field that causes freely moving magnet to take on the same orientation. The direction of the magnetic field is not quite parallel to the north or south axis of the globe. Meaning to say, it is not exactly the same on whatever is uh, the geographical coordinates of the uh, polar north and then the polar south. Okay, it is like it is slightly tilted or close enough to make an uncorrected compass a reasonably good guide. Okay, the inaccuracy known is called the variation. Okay, variation is a compass error caused by the magnetism of the earth okay may i uh, please take note variation is the compass error caused by the magnetism of the earth okay so over the centuries a number of technical improvements have been made in magnetic compass made of this pioneered by the english or the uh, english people Hints relied heavily upon navigational devices before uh, it looks just like this. However, this kind of magnetic compass right now that you see on my screen is basically or typically used right now in uh, land navigation. No? Land navigation. Again, historically, just read on the 15th century and everything. So what is a magnetic compass? Its principles, types, and errors. So first, let's go to the uh, parts. It has a liquid chamber, meaning meron siyang lagayan ng tubig. Okay? It's a liquid chamber. A float, a pivot assembly, and a card. Okay? That card uh, shows you the, the graph or the direction of your courses. Okay? The liquid chamber you put some water and uh, uh, and a chemical okay it's a combination of that so that uh, this card will freely move okay will freely move that's why it has a flow but it shouldn't have any any bubbles on it meaning to say dapat walang bubbles okay so nagre-refill tayo nito on board nilalagay natin siya ng tubig okay and we make sure that there is no bubble. Why? If because if there is, if there's a bubble, then it can be a an observation with the third party. So magnetic compass is the most important of all instruments aboard even the most modern vessel, and it's probably the most reliable. Why? Why does it say it like that? Because if the gyro compass fails, okay, there are times when gyro compass fails, nasisira yung gyro compass natin, then we will have to resort with the use of the magnetic compass. Kasi magnetic compass, it just works 
on the magnetism of the earth okay uh, and uh, also uh, after a full calibration or swinging of the vessel in determining the deviation of the vessel okay and also the variation which is the total is the compass error you can use your magnetic compass in emergency cases okay but if you have your gyro compass and magnetic compass of course you will primarily use your gyro compass which is electronically operated okay magnetic compass is primary means of navigation as a direction indicating device of a ship it is the ship's standard compass it is fitted above the bridge on the maki island at the center line of the ship when reading output is needed to the other bridge equipment then a transmitting magnetic compass is fitted there's a there's a transmission no uh, there's a transmission from the monkey island or from the flying bridge the proper term should be the flying flying bridge okay that magnetic compass has a binnacle on top of the monkey island or the flying bridge and it has a scope which is lowered down okay uh, passing through the deck on the, of the flying bridge going to the bridge or the helm's position itself okay and with that the 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 vessel okay has to steer or will be able to steer using the magnetic compass there's a switch over okay from gyro to magnetic or from magnetic to gyro so you can switch it from gyro to magnetic in case of emergency okay so what are the principle it's usually housed on the monkey island with a periscope like a device so Helmsman can easily read the compass when he's steering the ship. A magnetic compass works because the Earth is a giant magnet surrounded by a huge magnetic field. Earth has two magnetic poles which lie near the sword and south poles. The magnetic field of the Earth causes a magnetized needle of iron or steel to swing into a north or south position if it is hung from a thread or if it is stuck to a throw or piece of wood floating now look at the diagram it is like a hyperbola there's a magnetic pole and there's the uh, uh, south magnetic pole also okay it is slightly tilted it, as you can see it is 11.5 degrees okay and this is actually your geographic north pole when you say geographic that is the uh geographical no meaning yun yung hindi siya caused by the it is not uh, caused by the magnetism and also your geographic south pole <coughs> okay so a compass a compass works by utilizing the earth's magnetism in order to find directions its invention enabled people to perform navigation over long distances opening up the sea for exploration a compass north points all magnets having two poles north and south pole okay there is a magnet that can interact with other magnets in this way so the north end of a compass magnet is drawn to the align with the earth's magnetic field because the earth magnetic north pole attracts the north end of other magnets it is technically the south pole of our planet's magnetic field okay how accurate is the magnetic compass historically you can just read on no so there are types of magnetic compass i give you the dry type or the dry card compass and the wet card compass internationally we are using wet card compass and it should be fully filled without any bubble okay dry card kasi napakahirap niyan no uh, it doesn't swing that much because it doesn't have a flow in olden days, there used to be a dry card compass in the upper bridge for use in navigation. It's now part of history. Okay, it's made by rice paper, diameter 254 millimeter, 10 inches, cover aluminum ring. Silk thread used to be attached, and the weight of the card is usually around a uh, gram, few grams. Atenture na dry type. Okay, for the wet card, which is actually used. Nowadays, okay, it's a made of mica, diameter 15 cm or more, bowl diameter 23 cm. The ring magnet with card compass, the most efficient type 
of marine magnetic compass. Why is it efficient? Because it has a float and there's no, there's not much friction on it because it is filled with the liquid, uh, liquid combination, no, in the liquid chamber. Okay, it has a low freezing point about negative thirty. Small coefficient of expansion does not discolor the card and low relative density about 0.93. By immersing the card in a liquid, oscillations caused by vibration, rolling, and pitching are damped without loss of accuracy. The card therefore has a dead beat movement, which is convenient. The magnetic steering compass is located in the pilot house where it is affected considerably by deviation. Usually the standard compass is top side where the magnetic forces producing deviation are not as strong. Compass bearing by these compasses must be carefully differentiated by the abbreviations PSC. When you say per standard compass, that means that is your magnetic compass. PSTGC means per steering compass. Whatever compass you are using during steering, that is your PSTGC. And PGC means per gyro compass. Okay, take note of those three. So oh, the standard compass provides a means for checking the steering compass and the gyro compass. So there's a way how to remove bubbles. As I've told you earlier, you have to remove the bubbles. Uh, this is done for the maintenance to avoid the uh, uh, inaccuracy of the magnetic compass and also to avoid observations from the third parties, but inspectors, uh, safety officers, terminal ins inspectors, etc. A bubble may form in the bowl owing to the fact that some of the liquid has somehow escaped from the bowl. This is a bare occurrence and must be remedied by following the manufacturer's instruction. In most compasses, tilt the bowl until the filter hole comes uppermost. The hole is provided on the side of the bowl and screw the stud screw provide. Uh, let me just summarize, gentlemen. No? You can just read on this later, but then there's a screw. Okay, and dami kasing sinasabi nito, eh, no? Mayroong tinatanggal doon na screw, maliit lang, okay? Uh, is as simple as a bolt, no? Pero you have to tilt, iti-tilt mo yung magnetic compass mo. Uh, doon, nasa side kasi yun, eh, no? So kung nasa side siya, so iti-tilt mo siya 90 degrees. After you tilt it, you can unscrew it, okay? Pero just make sure you have an assistant. And then get ready with your equipments doon sa liquid mo na kailangan. And then... Also, yung pang injection. You have to use that. No? Kasi uh, it should be zero bubble, meaning it should be fully filled. No? Wala, talagang, wala talagang air space na maiwan kundi full liquid. Ganun lang kasimple ang mag-refill ng magnetic compass. Okay? Requirements for the magnetic compass carriage, it should be a gross tonnage or more of 150. Okay? Isang magnetic compass. And then, even if satellite compass is on board or installed, it still requires a one magnetic compass. Okay? If both magnetic compass burnt, lifeboat compass may be used. That is only in, in case of emergency. Okay? Vessels of 500 gross registered tonnage or over must have gyro compass. So sa magnetic, it's 150, yung gross register tonnage. Sa gyro, it is 500 naman. And of course, magnetic compass deviation card. So this deviation card, it is being done by swinging the vessel in order for you to determine the deviation. Kasi ang variation, given na yon sa locality mo, you can take that out from the nautical chart or from the X disk yung magnetic variation, okay? And of course, magnetic uh, variation plus uh, deviation is equals to your total compass error. So what are the limitations of a magnetic compass? The limitation is that it will not show through north. It will be deflected by electric flow, deflected by magnetic flow, okay? Air bubble check, fill up with distilled water and ethyl alcohol mixture. I've told, as I've told you, ethyl alcohol, no? May halong chemical and also distilled water. Some they use napta, no? 
uh, depend this uh, vessels uh, specific, okay, uh, or the manufacturer's instruction, hindi, et, hindi lang ethyl alcohol yung ginagamit. Okay, keep it vibration less, dry place, safe distance from electronic equipment, dimmer light to be checked, and clean it, okay? Why are you jo just joining right now? Anyway, <clears throat> so for the positioning of standard magnetic compass, uh, let me summarize this uh, statement. It is in the uh, middle part of the flying bridge. Okay. <clears throat> the binnacle is in the flying bridge. And uh, the scope is extended downwards going to exactly where the helmsman is steering. So kung saan nag titimon si si helmsman, nandoon yung scope ng magnetic compass. Okay? Effect of changes in magnetism during life of ship. Okay. So there's an effect, no? May mga effect uh, of changes in magnetism during the life of a ship. So when we talk about the magnetism of the ship, we are talking about the deviation. Because what is deviation? Deviation is the compass error caused by the magnetism of the ship. Because it is made of steel. Okay, When it is made of steel, there is a magnetism. And with that, that error causing your compass or magnetic compass is your deviation. Are we clear? Flat. Yes. All right. So, if you're being asked, okay, uh, the, uh, about the compass error caused by the magnetism of the Earth, naman, that is your variation. Okay. So you just add that up. Variation plus deviation is equals to your compass error. Okay. And we will do that uh, before. Before your finals exam, we will do some calculations. It will it can be tricky if you don't if if you are not listening right now, or if you don't understand the basics of the variation and then the deviation. For the adjustment and repair of so magnetic compass, okay, it should be a professional adjuster, but it also depends on the safety management system of the company. Sometimes it is just the deck officer, okay. We're holding the certificate competency with master mariner license. So even I, no, I did this myself. I adjust the magnetic compass. Okay. Can we use magnetic compass at the pole? No. Why not? Because at the pole, the directive force is zero. At the equator, the magnetic compass is more accurate. No? Ang directive force kasi doon sa Polar region I, zero. Dahil nandun yung, yung mismo magnetic north pole or magnetic south pole. So how many type of liquid use added in magnetic compass? There are two types of liquid. Mixture of distilled water and ethyl alcohol. Okay. And the other is oily liquid lang. Okay. Katulad ng sinabi ko, some they use naphtha. No? Uh, they use some chemicals okay, uh, for the liquid chamber itself. Questions? <clears throat> Questions do we have? None, sir. Okay. So I'm going to take attendance and I'm going to stop sharing. <clears throat> 